This video is brought to you by Ravenscraft Realty of Northeast Missouri. We started harvesting corn yesterday, uh, Monday the 9th of October. Today is the 10th, and uh, we're having some um, issues. I'm right here by my house. Fortunately, I live right next to the bins because this little window here, um, to see that the corn's moving, um, it has kind of jumped its little track, and it's put several bushels of corn on the ground, and it's only going to get worse until I take this thing out and put it back in square. Uh, I'm gonna video this just for posterity. So here's what we got going on. See, it's kind of slipped out of its track. It's not It's not quite in there square. Uh, I need to take take this loose and slide it in so that it's, you know, it's held in there good. But uh, this is going to be so, so very much fun. All right, here goes nothing. Well, that wasn't so bad. I do have some corn in my shirt now, but uh, crisis has been averted. And this pair of jeans is only two months old and it's torn in the back pocket. So thank you, Harriet. I know, I'm driving the Gator on a public road. I shouldn't be doing it. I've got some brush killer mixed up in the uh, sprayer tank and I'm gonna use the wand to spray brush along the edge of all the fields that we've harvested. Our semi guy, Phil, is right behind me so I couldn't sit in the road and talk with our guy, Cooper, uh, from Suter Seed very long. But I'm spraying brush mainly because um, this farm that we, we've been farming for I think six years now and uh, the brush along like the ditch where we couldn't mow has been a problem since day one and uh, we never really had a great chance you know have enough people to uh, uh, do something about it really ought well I, I need to come back with the uh, backhoe and dig some of it out some of it's a little too big for a uh, on crossbow and uh, activator 90 to kill but uh, I'm gonna give it a couple weeks and then see what's still there mow off what's dead and then uh, dig out what's left of the backhoe. There's our guy, Jeff, absolutely moving down the road. Ah, can't see anything. This time of the year, we have a lot of odd help and part-time truckers, which is awesome, because uh, it allows me to do stuff that stuff like this that needs to be done, but uh, sometimes I have some difficulty uh, finding the time to do. And we're gonna have some beans ready in the uh, not so distant future, which is good. Oh, brush spraying was going great until I found the edge of the field, which was actually not where the edge of the field is supposed to be. So as you can see here, um, part of the field just kind of sloughed off and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sure some people have been curious about the new, new to us X9 1000 combine. Um, the hype is real, you get a lot of, a lot of bushels, uh, processed in an hour with this thing like 5200 bushels per hour um, almost a thousand bushels an hour more than the uh, s790 that we were using last year but i'm just a lowly truck driver for now i've been hauling corn uh since we started um uh, i guess that's my job now i'm getting loaded up i think this is the fifth load for today dad's moving right along 200 plus bushel corn. I think he told me he's going like six and a half miles an hour. That's moving. Rest in pieces, Kenworth. This is the umpteenth uh, load of corn for the day. Try to run the uh, leg here at 25 to 28%. If you hit it anywhere in that range, just leave it there. Uh, running the pit as well. Yep. And uh, that that kind of haze over there is uh, rain, and I can feel it in the uh, in the air. So about about one more load of corn is all we're probably going to be doing today, and we have a, a visitation to go to, so uh, it's going to be kind of an early day, which is odd. This morning, I'm doing a little bit of theft from my sister's 4250, which used to have two remotes which now only has one and is soon to have zero. I uh, 
used some money from selling some other stuff to buy these blocker plates to put over the holes. A, to save weight for the tractor. B, so that I can put triple hydraulics on the 4020 and 4320. So on the surface, it looks like I'm helping my dear little sister out, but I'm, I actually have an ulterior motive. But we're selling corn today, but uh, I am the appointed odd job guy, which uh, my odd job right now is turning this pivot, or turning the uh, valves in the pivot so that uh, this half pivot here on the 195 can run. Uh, there's two of them out here. There's a, 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 full, a full circle pivot out in the middle and then this half pivot along the east edge. And uh, between those two, we get most of the 195 acres here um, underwater. Sometimes these things don't turn the, the easiest, but uh, that's all right. Now, starting these pivots, I think is kind of cool because, uh, okay, we need to start, start forward. Uh, when it starts pumping the water, the uh, towers get loaded up and then they fall down like a couple inches. Yeah, see, it's lowering down just a little bit. There's still some green and some uh, dark yellow out there in the field, so I think it'll pay to run the pivots one more time. More odd jobs today. Mixing up some uh, brush spray, which is 50 gallons of water, uh, 32 ounces of Tordon R22, uh, 32 ounces of Activator 90, and 90, 96 ounces of uh, Crossbow. And uh, yeah, we're spraying brush. Not a big fan of brush gr growing along the edge of the field. And uh, well, right now is as good of a time as any to do it. Well, it looks like I'm driving number one, the Freightliner Columbia, powered by 60 Series Detroit. There's the fancy new X9 just running. Get a lot done in an hour with that machine. And we also got the hopper extension on uh, last night at like 9.45. Not a fun job to do after dark. My grandma cut my hair and I'm not sure if I like the, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it'll grow back. Kind of looks like I have a mullet, but anyways, shelling corn. Kind of done uh, hauling to town for the day. So we're gonna load these trucks in the cart and then go home. But Jaden's running the 9620RX on the grain cart. Then of course, we got the X9 1000, 12 row head just walking the dog at like 6.5 miles an hour down here. That's really good. Dad needs to put his unload auger in or else we'll look like people from Iowa who don't know how to run a combine. The other thing about that combine that's really awesome is how little loss there is behind it. You know, a squirrel or a cow is gonna starve trying to eat corn behind that thing. There's just nothing substantial to speak of. I think there's more uh, header loss than there is anything else. Like there's, there's no corn on the ground behind that combine. Oh yeah. Oh, he was off a row. Series 60 Detroit, music to my ears. But it'd be cooler if it was a cat and it was in a Peterbilt. Seeing as I do live in the river bottom next to the bins, it's my responsibility to uh, sometimes babysit the uh, bins. Apparently there's some bearings out on this motor and the motor that uh, runs the drag. 
uh, conveyor, so I gotta take some pictures of that real quick. I also have other news at the Chase Goldinger household. Um, come here, kitties. I now have one, two animal friends in my house. This is Hot. He's a little orange kitty. And his markings say, they say Hot on him right there, H-O-T. That's his sibling, Joker. And they now live at my house where they get uh, plenty of love and food and rodents and snakes to chase. Okay, before I forget or procrastinate even more, this is several weeks and uh, more hair growth later. Uh, this is the end of the video, so I promise I haven't quit YouTube. I've been asked that a couple times. The answer is no, I have not quit YouTube. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm gonna try and get this one up tomorrow, which is Thursday. Try to get this one up and uh, fingers crossed, I'll get back to the weekly thing because uh, farming ain't, ain't a great business right now. So uh, might have to resort to doing weekly YouTube videos. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. So take care.